Hi everyone, Sarah here with the Children's Museum of Eau Claire and today we are going to make some Play-Doh. At the museum we change out our Play-Doh every week. Everyone loves to come down and see what color it's going to be, what it's going to smell like, but the Play-Doh that we make can actually last up to a month if you have it in an airtight container. So this container is the same one that I used for the flour that I'm going to use to make the Play-Doh. You can see that it has these snap and the rubber seals on it. That's perfect for our Play-Doh to last up to a month. You can use it for lots of different things. Throughout our time at home here, I'm going to be using it for multiple different crafts and different kind of activities. I will post this recipe at the end of the video as well, but this is everything that we're gonna need. So we're gonna need flour, we're gonna need food coloring, vegetable oil, cream of tartar, salt, and you can use Kool-Aid. I like to use essential oils in mine, and then we also need some warm water. I also suggest that you use a really thick wooden spoon because at the end it's pretty hard to mix. Okay, so the first thing that the recipe tells us to do is put all of our dry ingredients into the pot. Once you have all of your dry ingredients in, you want to slowly add in all of your liquid ingredients. Now that all of our ingredients are in there, over medium heat we want to stir it as much as we can until all the lumps are gone. Once all of your lumps are gone, continue to stir it until the dough starts to darken. So you can see when it starts to pull away from the sides like this and form a ball in itself and it starts to get a little bit less sticky, it doesn't really come off on the spoon as much, that's when you're almost done. Do about five more mixes, five more turns, and then you can pull it out of the pot. So I just took my Play-Doh out of my pot. You can see up here still it's steaming just a little bit. And when you take it out of the pot, you want to put it onto some flour on the counter here, just like this. Like if you're making bread or if you're making cookies, anything like that. And you don't want to touch it quite yet because it is still pretty hot. You can do it just lightly, kind of flatten it out, make sure it cools down a little bit faster. And then once it's cooled down, you can knead it just like you're making some bread. And once you are done kneading your Play-Doh and it's no longer sticking to the table, you're good to play.